Right, Conductor, good morning, we're ready to go. Our first drop-off is at Borman number 10, where we'll drop off the last five tanks in our consist. Let's just check where we're going here. And we are going to White Snake. So this is the route for those that didn't see the preview last time. Blackwood Creek, Borman number 10. Oh, okay, so we're going to have to drive past the Y and come back. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, and to sign the petition, good man. Hey T, welcome. So we've got this new Western Pacific F7 which we're we're hauling a long way. He wasn't going to download this. <laughs> you wrote it, dude. <laughs> can a real life be unit rather than not? Yes, it can. I imagine it depends on it's compatible, Loco, but in theory. In this case, it is, uh, I think, a powered down unit, yes. Cameron Sober, it sounds like you need to do a verify. Tidza, the golden rule of American signaling is if it ain't all red, it ain't red. Essentially, it's like root, uh, root indicators. So in the UK, you have root indicators, so like with the white feathers and so forth. Um, in the US, the position of the lights can give you indication of roots and so forth as well. Brooks Rail, to be honest, 90 minute scenarios are, are le much less likely to get played. I tend to stick to 60 and below. Occasionally, if I get really good feedback about a 90 minute scenario, I'll play it, but um, generally speaking, I'll stick to 60 minutes or less. I do like this route. This route is by LT Bly on Steam. It's the same author as Majestic Falls and Adriana County.
Did uh, you should definitely drive some American routes. There's some uh, some really good different experiences to be had with. Mr. You asked earlier about how to get scenarios to me. Um, Till I three tiers in the clouds. Um, what you need to do is put it on Steam Workshop and then suggest it via the suggestion form. Hey, couple of them out. Of course, we're on the last scenario now, and then it's trucks in. We're learning a bit, a bit early than planned because the first scenario crashed. You've got the Sherman Hill and you've got the coal one as well. Oh, nice, yeah. And you've got a German, so you've got Cologne complaints, I presume, then. Pop up on hour, thank you for the host. Spam track can suggest different scenarios when your own made routes, as long as that's on Steam Workshop as well, yes. Slow down for the 15. Ribku, thank you for the host. Stubby, will I be doing some trucks in multiplayer at some point? Yes, I will. Um, ETS initially, I think, because I don't have ATS. I'm going to get that in the summer sale. See you later, Brooks Rail. I'll take a look and see about your scenario. If it's an hour long, then I don't see why I, should, why I can't play it. Shooter, thanks for the host. Cameron, sorry, but I'm actually going to put an article on my website, trainsimlive.tv, about how you do, how you set up for streaming. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, okay, we're crawling through here so we can get up to the Y, which is just in front of us. In fact, there you can see the part of the Y there. For the time being, Stubby, I'm just going to play single player on ETS because I'm still I'm trying to get myself back into the game. It's been such a long time since I actually played it properly. like we're all set up to go the right way. Not. That's it. Now we're set up to go the right way. Come back. Go to 13 and then drop off. Drop back to 10. Spam track. Am I serious? Yeah, oh yeah, no, I don't like driving like a nutter in Euro truck. I try and drive sensibly. Whether people like my driving is a completely separate, and if it, but the intention is to drive sensibly.
Uh, Callum, if I run with the bell on all the uh, all the times I should be running with the bell on, then all the viewers in the stream disappear. <laughs> Strangely enough. <laughs> Don't drive looking up, but I do like crunchy gears. Yeah, I do like shaking the nutters around. <laughs> well, exactly, spam track. My, my goal is to develop you know the uh, the career aspect of the game not treat it like a formula 1 racer or something daft i mean i enjoy the driving aspect of it quite a lot even more so since i stole my son's steering wheel <laughs> turn the bell on but put it on mute thanks yatta <laughs> all right let's flick the switch come. Ayrton's, I haven't got the controller plugged in at the moment, so I can't, unfortunately. I look at the speedo on the screen, it's from the same thing that does this. Can also, and it also does the map down there. Um, it also does the, um, the gauge as well. Alright, that's enough. We've got all the cars we need in here. So I need to drop off five tankers. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Next we need to drop off the four ballast toppers at number eight. Let's pull forward. got the bell on you see but you just can't hear it so it's fine it's not too objectionable how long does it host have a rail driver set up we you can't make all of this stuff work unfortunately because it, it needs software I can't share um, but the rail driver is just uh, I think they're a hundred 250 200 quid something like that they're quite expensive but I think they're worth it personally I do like it um Deltic Dan, the live steam one, the that tried that green train derailed numerous times in that video. I've just edited most of them out. Unfortunately what happens is that the wheels on the axle they float around, so it goes over a curve and that's it, it just throws itself off the track. Right, so we need to drop off four ballast hoppers. We're in here. The movie style action doesn't really work with the keyboard out. <laughs> Cameron Sober, you like the theme tune, do you? Nice. Yeah, 
Here it comes. But to Mister, please do. Absolutely, please do. I think tomorrow, well, the first one of my model railway videos comes out at one o'clock, um, and there's two of them, so one tomorrow and one the day after. That's why I need to have a look at the suggestions thing, but with Google Docs not working tonight, it was difficult. So, uh, but yes, I do need to go through some of the workshop routes. I think I'll aim to have a workshop route evening this week, actually. Got a little bit of time yet. Yeah. Just not convinced these are all going to fit in unless I buffer them right up. Good evening, Wazza Rocks. And Brody, good evening. Right, so four coal cars. One, two, three, four. Good. Next, we're off to Clearwater Beverage Company to drop off the four tankers of corn syrup at 22 corn syrup unloading. Where that then? Oh, it's there, is it? So I guess we're off forward then. Good night, butter mister. Stubby, I'm afraid I can't give out news that Dovetail haven't already given out. You'll need to ask them for news on that one. It's a bit bumpy up here. Dave, yes, my ETS updated before the stream. Hey, Darkness Monster, welcome. I didn't see you join earlier on. Brody, what am I doing next for the rest of the night? So this is the last train sim, and after that it's Euro Truck Sim um, until I, I get tired. <laughs> So 
See you later, Amarillan. Thanks for stopping by. Good evening, Tyrant One. L1, uh, Ian1982, yes, workshop is completely free. Although it does require, um, or every workshop item requires you to own the locos or routes that it uses. Where's my mouse? Come back. <laughs> Funny wiggles and bumps. None that I can see. Well, that should look interesting. Look at this track. Hey, Southern Pacific Rail fan, uh, Southern Pacific fan, welcome. Stop it, yeah, this is all off the new PC. Got proper mail, this is Blackwood Creek, which is a workshop route. to be coming to a set of buffers. Let's try changing that switch, shall we? So we go the right way. Now that could have been a uh, somewhat shortened trip. Mr. Cubs, yeah, this will be the last scenario on train sim, and then we're going to switch to Euro Truck. A big boy on Blackwood Creek. <laughs>
Let's see if we can't find some more nice, lovely to look at track. Fire on one, yes, I uh, start at 8 o'clock um, and uh, carry on through. We're actually finishing a bit earlier than I would like, would like to normally, um, but uh, that's because the first scenario crashed. But we are carrying on tonight after trains. I'm going to carry on and do some Euro trucks. Right, how far are we to where we need to go? Oh, here we go. Siding's just up there, I think. <laughs> Mr. Cubs, cab view. There's not really an awful lot to see in a high hood, to be honest. Your mouse died. Is that your fancy, expensive, um, super duper mouse darkness? That's bad news. So that's our junction there. I think for those of you who just got the new update to Euro Truck, I think you can go into the beta branch option and you can switch back to the previous version. I'm sure I read something about that. Right, so we're going to drop these tankers into that siding there. Uh, B. Harrison. No, it's Steam is all completely automatic. When you click the buy button, it almost immediately will download in the stall and set itself up for you. That's one of the really good things about it. I got the message, Dave, um, and there's no panic on it because it's not open to the public yet anyway. I will sort something about that, that out before we do go public.
Um, if you've already got uh, TS 2016 in Steam, then it will, it should let you buy first class edition. It's just warning you that you all it thinks you already own it, and it's just because of the way the game is structured. If you own the the main executable, it doesn't care about the DLC essentially. So you if you buy it, it should just add it on top. Right. Oops. What are we getting rid of here? Four tankers. So the last four. One, two, three, four. Put a break on. Good. Next is auto build fabrications in Fusic. There. Drop off the box car and the flat car. Oh, that's weird, um, CJ Bell. I didn't realise that would be the case. I'll, I'll make inquiries about that tomorrow. White box. What white box do you mean? Oh, okay, Joe. Nice. Um, yeah, the um, the uh, the Paint and Kingsway line is very good. This thing, it's an aircon unit, isn't it? Bowling lift over, welcome. knows what a PCS is. It's a pneumatic control switch and it's used to make sure the loco brakes won't release when there's insufficient air in the system. It's a little light that says PCS open when it happens. And then if you've got a loco with the red Mars light on the front, normally the red, that's linked to the PCS as well. Yeah, 1982, thank you for the follow. I was looking at that. I've been looking, one of the things, because I've done a lot of research into the air braking system on American Locos. So, yeah, and <laughs> dig, in, dig into all of those. What does that light mean? What happens? Where does that go on? <laughs> What kind of horn does this one have? A loud one. Are they beyond that? I'm not that familiar. I mean, it's a three. I'll give you that. It's a three bell. 
and they're reversed, so one that way and uh, two that way. Uh, so something like a K3LAR2 or something like that. Mr. Cubs, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Ha, ah, there is the box car, just that siding over there. Oh, the symbols, Ben. I don't think there's something you can fix, but I know that the team are aware of it. I think it's being looked into. Nathan P3. No, I'm just starting to get to grips with the American horns. Alright. Right, let's bring these in. Hang on. It's coupled up and brought the box cub tanks with me. I definitely uncoupled them. Uh, let's see if we can fit them in. Yeah, saw me uncouple them. It must have just auto-coupled them again. But gently reversed back into them. Conductor's just not doing his job today. Blame Fringe. Oh, absolutely. Fringe is a conductor. <laughs> Those tanks have sauce in them. Yeah, brown sauce. Right. I think that's about as snug as it's going to get. One, two, three, four. Plus that one, plus that one. Oh, it let me do it. Excellent. Now we have three wood chip offers for Kendrick Paper. But we need to switch out the empties on the return trip first and drop off the loads at Kendrick uh, Paper Holding. I've, I've kind of messed the main line up. <laughs> Someone else could figure that out later. Um, all right, let's run through uh, siding 43. Right, we've actually left the wagons behind this time. I 
No, that's right, Muggy. I quite enjoy getting used to the clutch again. Um, right. GWR, this is Black well, Blackwood Creek. This is Blackwood Creek. Darkness, have you, have you, did you tell the parents, hey, I am Darkness Monster, what did you want me to bring you? Light? Good news? Drop off three wood chip. These ones at the back here. Let's actually, you know, clear the switch. It is 11.06, train track Trav. GWR, they are pointing in opposing directions if you look at those horns. Buster Mitchell, uh, welcome. Right, one, two, three. Thank you. Right, drop off the four box cars at Kendrick Law. Paper Duck. Which is that way. Let's switch that one up that way, and that switch that way. Right, let's go and do that. Make sure we leave them behind this time. Put a UK time clock on the screen, I could do that. I did uncouple the wagons, Dave, but I think what happened is when I released the brakes to go, the train slid back slightly and recoupled up to them, and I didn't spot that. Dropping off the four box cars, which will just then leave us with the Western Pacific F7. One, two, three, four. That just leaves us that. Well, right, so, uh, that's the drop-offs taken care of. Now for our special delivery. They need some work to do on it, so they told us to spot it at Blackwood Creek Historic Railroad Workshop 2. It's round here, so let's go round into the centre platform. Wagons behind. I do like the F units, they've got a uh, a nice look to them. They've been always been one of my favourite trains. There's a museum over there. Oh, 
boost in there. us off in there. Uh, Mister, ETS 2 starts in a few minutes, or probably in about 5-10 minutes once this is finished. And I've gone to the toilet. Oh, I've enjoyed this run around Blackwood Creek. We did a, um, a look at Blackwood Creek some time ago, um, when it came out, um, and after I got streaming again. And uh, it's been good to actually run a proper scenario. I'll try and do some of the other ones that um, LT Bly has uploaded. What have we got to do? Drop that off there. Right, I will drop off to finish. We need to wait for an excursion trip to run home before we can head back. Let's park at the station. Why a head code light's not showing on the F7? Probably because the F7's switched off. It's basically just a wagon. A freight car, sorry. Stop off here for a cup of old Joe. Get off the switch. And when you're finished, now go back and tidy up those wagons you made a mess of earlier, uh, previously in the scenario. GWI, yes, the um, Southern Freight Scheme is nice, isn't it? I do like Southern livery. The, is it white and cream, or cream, sorry, cream and green? Uh, Copper Upper Mel, it's um, British Summertime. BST. Which I think is GMT plus one. Right, let's leave it here and take a well-earned break. I think I will, actually. There you go, folks. Yes, Buttermister, I was aware of the uh, five bell. I gather the tickets are going to be very expensive, though. Um, but uh, it'd be nice to certainly um, go line side and spot the thing. Right, that's it for this evening on Train Sim. Now, coming up next, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on Euro Track, get a bit more practice with that. Uh, and we're going to be making our first trip over into uh, the mainland Europe um, and uh, see how well driving on the other side of the road goes. Right, I'm going to have a break. I'll leave you with a theme tune, and uh, then I will be back very shortly. Thanks a lot, everybody. If you're staying, I'll see you shortly. If you're not, thanks for joining. Trains in life, much
gonna drive on down. 